There was a very interesting surge in transactions that we saw over the last couple of days that I want to discuss with you guys, because I don't think it's necessarily a good representation of what is in fact happening here. Now, this is stuff that actually happened on Shibarium. And in fact, on November 30th, there was actually 5.11 million daily transactions. Now, obviously, this is a very unnatural unhealthy move to the upside the day before that there was actually 748,000. Now what this probably was, was either a new smart contract launch, a new NFT minting, something like that, something that generated a lot of transactions. And I want to remind people that obviously this probably didn't do much in terms of, of burns or anything like that. It could also be an overall network test. We really don't know because realistically this cost of transactions was probably quite cheap. It probably really didn't take much to get through. Now, during this time, I did look at some of these charts too. There actually was uh, a spike in active accounts. We saw a spike from actually 600 daily active accounts to up over 3000, then dropping down to 1300 on the 30th. We saw uh, a number of new accounts created as well. I mean, that's, you know, there are some, some interesting things happening here. Now I do want to remind people of this. There is always the possibility that Shibarium could contribute in, in a major way to Shiba Inu. I know most people here on the channel, they're SHIB holders. Many people have kind of stayed away from Shibarium and that's fine. I still hold my bone just in case it, you know, just in case the network does well, there's always the chance it could do well. And really what it has to do with is all these things that are going to be launched within the SHIB ecosystem, all right, within Shibarium. So I'm talking the metaverse, once the game is integrated, the partnerships that are being created, the integration of Shibarium into businesses, all these things are, are still happening. They're still coming, right? So I'm still holding out, holding out hope that they can contribute in some way to Shiba Inu through burns, through adoption. I think adoption is, is a very key part of that because if Shibarium is doing well, the optics from Shibarium could contribute in a positive note to Shiba Inu as far as people getting into SHIB, all right? That's kind of the big way that I look at this. I look at Shibarium more so being, instead of a burn tool, I look at, it, look at it as an adoption tool, something that could naturally bring people into Shiba Inu. Now, obviously there are other things going on as well. We know that the SHIB Association is still working on their chain. I've heard uh, uh, people have asked questions about, you know, where we're at there. It's, it's being developed, guys. Know that these developments, they take a lot of time to get done. Think about how long it took for Shibarium to actually get out to the public. It was what, uh, two years, two years. So a very long period of time to have something successful with the right tokenomics. And remember, there's going to be, it's like a, uh, not a bridge. It's kind of a bridge. So the, essentially a one-to-one -one redemption of SHIB to whatever coin is going to be the native token on the SHIB association chain. It's a, it's very complex guys. And if we truly want to see burns done the right way. If we truly, truly want to see it help, uh, contribute to ship in a positive major way. We have to remember they, it needs to be done right. We need to give them the time to develop it as long as it launches sometime, you know, in the next year, probably year, year and a half and can take advantage of this bull market cycle. That's where you could see major portions of ship supply removed. That's where you could see it uh, creating more again, optics for SHIB. The more things that the community builds, the better it's going to be for SHIB in the long run. That's kind of the way that I look at things. As long as the community stays active and engaged and they're creating new unique ideas for the future, that's where SHIB can truly thrive. We could see it become, you know, a really truly dominant player in the space, multiple blockchains, projects being created all over the place. That's how you can create this budding, robust ecosystem that, can bring a lot of people in. So I wanted to just share that with you guys. Pay attention. I bet you there's a correction on Shibarium. I bet you things fall back down to kind of the mean, you know, 20,000, 15,000 transaction range, but we'll obviously see what happens. So appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Show your support below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.